Hadi. Praise the name of the living God. You're watching our program, Seek God First, broadcasted by our church, Generation Praise God Church. I'm Mary Webusa, pastor in Generation Praise God Church by the grace of God. Our topic today is being faithful stewards. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus and in the power of your Holy Spirit, we want to thank you and bless your holy name. We come at which sound at where the Zechigamba Cho. We want to go and in the Zamkolomu Mufe. Bless your people, Lord, through this word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. We come on, Lord Jesus. Being a faithful steward is our topic today. We come on, Lord Manika, Omo Esigwa. We come on, Lord Manika, Omo Esigwa. Our program is Seek God First. We come on, Lord Manika, Omo Esigwa. We come on, Lord Manika, Omo Esigwa. But if you really been watching us and want to be to seek God and see His glory and see His hand, please, you ought to be a faithful steward. Faithful steward, Muchi. We are not afraid. That on the solo quest to search for Kuanika, that on the solo quest to search for the you don't have to be rich, you begin small. That's what it means. God will take you from glory to glory. Go with me in the book of Matthew 25. Matthew from verse 21. You're watching our program, Seek God First. Matthew 25 from verse 20 and 21. Yesu Christo yinini, na wakia ntu waka 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 tonda, bulibela webutu. Ni waka 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 tonda, tuli manyalu naku wate sawa. Bulina kutambula ngangu sani te. Bulina kutambula ngangu olimwe sigwa, mkama yeva siwe. It reads, verse 20, Chapter 25 from verse 20. Tinoli ya wewe talante tan. Nadja kare talike kwe kumine nya. Ntikubanga. Bulingo mtu. Buli obaka waka wakutona. Bulingo mtu ya ya gendo kutambula mse ndala. Na ita abadube. Na vale kere bintu bie. Na wewe talante tan. Omulala bili. Omulala emu. Buli mtu ngubu inza abu. Bubuali na agenda. Amangu abu. Olie ya wewe talante tano, na agenda, na zisubu zisa, na zivisa, e talante tano, e ndala. Buatyo, nuli ya wewe talante bili, na avisa mu bili, e ndala. Na yuli ya wewe emu, na agenda na asimetaka, na ateko mefeza, e ya mkama wa verse 19. Awe bilobi inji, bebi aita, mkama wava dobali na jia. Nabala, nabala, nabu umuendo Nuli ya wewe talante tano Nadja, nalete talante tano Ndala, nagama, mkama wange Wande kile talante tano Gaba, na visa mwe talante tano Ndala, mkama wena mkama Tuwebale, olimudu mlunji Ela mwesigwa Wali mwesigwa mbitono Nikusigire benji Yingida, usamulia mkama wawo Mkama mlunji ya vazwe Verse 21 Wevali walimudu mwesikwa. Gwenange na awe. Oyakala one day to be appreciated by our master. Mukama yeva zikwe. Uba ya kuwa talanta. Uba ya kuwa magezi. Uba ya kuwa bulunji. Ulimutu katunda inachi ya mwesikisa. Mukama mwesikwa yeva zikwe. Oyakala na kululi. Krista kwe vazi. Tiwevali walimudu mwesikwa. Walimuzana mwesikwa. Walimuzana mwesikwa. Walimuzana mwesikwa. Na kwe sikisa vima. Wabaze amu. Mkama yeva zibwe. It may be a gift of love. Baza mungu kwa gala kwa. Bela ngu li mwesi kwa. With no selfish intention. Ngato ina chuo goba. Mkama agenda kuwa mkisa. Agenda kuwa ngira kwa. Hallelujah. Luke 16 verse 10. Luke 16. Being a faithful steward. Hallelujah. Mubiona mkama ya kuwa de. Oboli mchala mfungo bela mwesi kwa mbana kwa. Oboli musajja bela mwesi kwa. Bela mwesi kwa mbufuhu. Bela mwesi kwa. Katunda ya gala alave. 
nga buli che yakuwa obera munsigo bote bogenda okongerwa ko bote boli simu wa masoga mukama ayogedde kuna kululi bato wali simu babe you can read there yourself Matthew 25 you can read there yourself Luke 16 from verse 10 Luke 16 from verse 10 you're watching our program seek God first nonya katona ngo manye chigambo chi bobato nomeza katona mchigambo chi Tugina musanga atambula just in space. Nenda katunda kuli ya mchika mboche. Ila gila kuo mukisa. Nana fegwa kutu wade. Elinyali mwenge chitiwa. Luke 16 from verse 10 to 13. It reads. Nti ama omwesigwa kuchituwe chitono enyo. Ne kuchineni ama omwesigwa. Ila abo mliaza amanya. Kuchituwe chitono enyo. Ne kuchineni ama mliaza amanya. Kale. Bumuta abenga besigwa mumomona atali mtu kilivu. Ani alibatele sobu gaga obwa mazima. Eda bumuta abenga besigwa kweche echabene echamu ani alichibawa. Verse 13. Tewali mweleza ainzo kweleza abami ya mabili. Kubangu oba alichawa komu na yagalu mulala. Oba alinyuele ya komu na nyomu mulala. You cannot, you cannot. You will never be double-minded. You will never serve two masters. You will pretend to do it. But God loves faithful stewards. Brethren, wake up. This is a call by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful with your body with whatever God has given you. Abelo mwesigwa mchintuwe chitone nyo, ila abelo mwesigwa nye mchinene. Mukama mwesigi sani ibi nene. Hallelujah. Some people pray and pray for big things. Yes, you can have them. But God wants to entrust you with big things when you are faithful. Hallelujah. God can lift you from nothing, from glory to glory. When you're a good steward, it doesn't matter where you are, brethren. God will bless you. You may be housewife, just so miserable, but be faithful in that marriage. Be faithful with your children. God will remember you. God will remember every faithful act you did. Hallelujah. First Peter 4, verse 10. Being a faithful steward, it's only the Holy Spirit who will help you. Tewali agina kuchekinga. Tewali tabi kia kukuntu wakutu nungaba kozi. Tuba matagaba hana. Tuba mene ya bandi. Bena mwesi wa mchintu wa chuchongi yangu ya chuchongi. Mukama kugezesa. Your witness is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because he's with you. He knows what you do. Under your bed, under your pillow, under everything. If you choose to be a faithful steward, your reward will come from heaven. Your reward will come not from people. Yes, people will appreciate you, but God will appreciate you first. Because God is a spirit. Hallelujah. First Peter 4, verse 10. Mtume Paulo, nyiri 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 mja zero mza mbae mza esomere. Esiva gama tibero mwani kumwe sigwa. Chona chona chewa kwe sigisiza mkamu mdonji yewa zigwe. Look at the people who work in banks. They handle money every day, and that money is not theirs. Hallelujah. God will put every test to you. They work in banks, they handle money which is not theirs, but God wants to bless them. Hallelujah. So if you're faithful, God will honestly bless you. I'm looking for First Peter 4, verse 10. You come on the year as well. But where Peter is so verse 4. Hallelujah. First Peter 4, verse 10. It reads, Nti nga buli muntu we ya wewe chidabo. Nga muchu we reza mwekana mweka. Bwe mutyo. Nga haba wanika haba lunji. Awe chisacha katonda. Echitari chimu. Katonda haba tuwela haba wanika haba lunji being good stewards of everything he blessed us with hallelujah we all have different ways of serving god we all have different gifts we all have different things god has entrusted us with 
whether your master sees you or not, God is a spirit. God will see you, God will reward you at one point in time. Some of us did a lot of jobs before we became self-employed. But God saw us, God blessed us, hallelujah. If you're so tired of that job, God will help you leave it, go to another job. But be faithful even to the very end. Our master Christ Jesus was faithful even on the cross he forgave. Hallelujah. Even on the cross he said, Father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. No matter whether you are going through a tough situation, call unto the name of the Lord. He will save you. Hallelujah. But keep on being a faithful steward. Never steal because you are left alone, because you work in the bank, because you have money, because your master has not seen you. Do not steal. Do not take money which doesn't belong to you. Hallelujah. All that you see in this generation. Because that's wrong. Be faithful. Whatever does not belong to you, do not take it. Hallelujah. Those who seek God look for permanent blessings. Hallelujah. Those who serve the devil have just temporary joy. You wouldn't want that. You want a permanent blessing that adds no sorrow. Hallelujah. Titus, 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 be faithful, be faithful, be faithful. Being a faithful steward is something you choose to do and pray about it. It doesn't matter, it's okay. He will save you. That's what he saved you from. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and take it away and drink from the cup of faithfulness. For all people God has lifted, they were nothing. Hallelujah. They were crying. They called on to him, myself inclusive. Hallelujah. But the more we became faithful, the more God increased us. The more God blessed us. Hallelujah. Titus 1 from verse 7. It reads, <coughs> Titus 1 from verse 7. Since an overseer is entrusted with God's work, he must be blameless, not overbearing, not quick tempered, not given to drunkenness, not violent, not pursuing this modest again. You are a garden. You are a gardener. You are a maid. You are somebody. Go Be faithful. Hallelujah. Whether your master appreciates you or not, God is faithful. Hallelujah. God will pay you. And you will never know. How, how did God see me? How did God know I was faithful? God is a spirit. Hallelujah. One day I was talking to a man, the Aliagana Chala Ukola, Timichala was Simwe Sigwa, a Kola Sentenga Azibas Kwaza Savidala. Be faithful. You went to that home to be a helper to that man. Bera Mwesi was sent a Muzukoli, Mustake Wam, Zigena Bayan Bida Wam, Ga family. You did not go there to be a thief. You went there to help. You went there to help. 
Hallelujah. It will come back to you. Hallelujah. Ebi tuwe wena bibiyo, bibiyo na habana, bibiyo ni familia yeyo, bila mwesigwa, bila wa mazima. And to us who are born again, ukuluka mazima, ukuluka musana, there is no single shortcut. Hallelujah. Tulimuosini ya tetuwa wansi. Verse 8. Rather, we are reading Titus 1 from verse 7 to 9. Rather, he must be hospitable, one who loves what is good, and who is self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firmly to the trustworthy message, as it has been taught, so that he can encourage others by sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. Hallelujah. All over the world, wherever you are watching us from, I don't know. Wherever you will ever be watching us from, the gospel is the same. Season. Hallelujah. Seasons will come and go, but the gospel will remain the same. The gospel is standard. The gospel is truthful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It may look a small beginning, but God wants to make it a big beginning. Hallelujah. You may look that everybody despises you, but God wants to make you a big man or woman. Hallelujah. And when you reach where God wants to reach you, do not frustrate God. Do not offend the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Our Master Christ Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The way to where? Not the way to your comfort zone. Not the way to the state where you want to go. Not the way to any nation of your choice, but the way to heaven. Hallelujah. When you reach your blessing, do not disappoint God. Hallelujah. Do not disappoint God. He did not bless you. To 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 ya kubilessing wakubeda chivume. Ya kubilessing wabedomuksa. Hallelujah. God blessed you to bless others. When God blesses me, he expects a blessing to others. Hallelujah. And when God blesses you to a level where you think you have now eaten and you are full of joy, full of everything, do not disappoint God. Hallelujah. Because in Psalm 75, it says it very clearly, very clearly. Joy of patience. God will cut you. Don't wait for God to cut you, brethren. Hallelujah. Don't wait for that. Be faithful up to the very end. Hallelujah. Be faithful when you're poor. Be faithful when you're rich. Be faithful when you have not married. Be faithful when you get married. Hallelujah. Be faithful in all dimensions. Because some people are better faithful being faithful is not about color, it's not about age, it's not about your status, it's to all of us. Hallelujah. Here in Revelations 2, and so many other verses, anyway, do not wait for your lampstand or kujibwa wo agamba jukira we wagwa wenenyi. Buliwo wa buliwo tabera faithful uliwova mchisa. Omoni tu kubwa kusindi kila wone. Akugama mama na ngofude mchisa. O good day. O swazi ri nyali anga kusindi kila. Because none of us would want a tabaza yoku jijiao. Hallelujah. None of us would want to see your husband or your wife ngatu sekuto pa ina watu sate mukama na jawi tabaza ye. No. We all want to, to, to go from glory to glory until we leave this world. So one way you can do it and maintain yourself in the grace of God is being faithful. Hallelujah. Be faithful in season and out of season. Hallelujah. When we sometime, sometime back here in Kampala, 
wanu wogu dendo zari na katibu chari wu Rigambo, nula baba kazi wu nama duka wa duka, tuduka na wu Bobo lava chibinga chikambo chaka, tuna tuchikola Four people are naked, don't be naked Mukama yeva sibu If all people sin, do not sin You want to remain in the grace Hallelujah That's one way of pleasing God Hallelujah. When you please God, he will take you from glory to glory. When you do not please God, this is what he does. Hallelujah. Revelations 2, from verse 4 to... Mm -hmm. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. Bulirova mkwagala kwa katonda. Bwaliyo mwagala, bwaliyo mutia, bwaliyo kera mchachi, bwaliwe wayo, ngatu chachi kola mukama tasanyuka. Hallelujah. God will never be happy with you or me. Hallelujah. Remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. Mukama mwujiye basu. If you do not repent, why are you going to come? See, if you don't repent, if you don't change, I will come to you and remove, he says, remember the height from which you have fallen. People fall from great heights. Atudetagwa. Hallelujah. Imiride yagwa. Halinyiwa guru kudare nyo yagwa. Atudetagwa. Bobocha today no one single chaka video katona to inza kuku already or today at all that watch. Remember the heights. People fall from great heights. Why? They are not faithful. When you are not faithful, you will fall. You were not faithful with your body. You were not faithful with the little money God gave you. You are not faithful with the wife or husband God gave you. You are not faithful. What God does, I call it in Revelation 2, chapter 5, verse 5. Remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. Your brother, your sister, your children. You want to see them in the grace of God. You want to see them live for Christ. Hallelujah. Every time I pray, I tell my God, you know what, my God, and I tell the people I pass every day, if God knows that I will assume his name like tomorrow, it's better for me to die like today and I go to heaven than ashaming the Lord and losing my crown and my reward which I have worked for for a very long time. Hallelujah. Pray like that. Brethren, God will give you the grace. Hallelujah. God will give you the grace. It's not true that God doesn't give the grace. It's not true that Satan is more powerful than God. It's not true. Hallelujah. It's the way we handle our things. It's the way we live God. Yengeli jetu wa demstani yomu wa ganya. Mkama yeva siwa. Yengeli jetu chuzi namba kwa ana wa fe. If my five friends are faulty, I will be faulty. Mburi ya mwita na ye kumuli ye pisazo. Ava ganda yu ayina uluge. So, if you choose the path of the unfaithful people, and there are five fa unfaithful people around you, before you know it, you will be unfaithful. Hallelujah. But once the Holy Spirit of the Most High God is still driving you, keep watch. Watch and pray about your friends, about the people you keep around yourself. Hallelujah. Pray every day that God will give his own people around you. They may be two or three, but they are there. Rachel to Vasavida, Colossians 3 from verse 18. Bacolosai. Colossians 3. Bacolosai. A room to me, Paul. I want to come here with you. And a Christmas, you have got to be a messigua. To be a messigua. No, you were a little messigua. Christo, you are a messigua. Singam come off at a little messigua. 
ba Mariam, ba Marisa, ba Liva Kwanabe, ba Nina Malaza. But there is no way they documented Ntiye Yononesa. His purity was taken away. He did not do that. He was faithful. Yaba tuwa langaba luganda babuli denjiri bakwanobe abakazabe sigwa nalianga nabo nabiranga nabo mukama yeba sigwa Kristo yali mwe sigwa nafe tubelebe sigwa mukama yeba sigwa botobele mwe sigwa etabaza yevao echitiwa chuchivao nebe zibe send esene mwa mesijia mesigenda mukama yeba sigwa amafuta but the grace will go. Our topic once again is being faithful stewards. Hallelujah. Colossians 3 from verse 18, it reads, I said already, you may be a child, you may be a wife, you may be a slave or a master. The Bible caters for all of us. You have no excuse whatsoever. It reads, Colossians 3 from verse 18, Wives, submit to your husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything. For this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything you do and do it. Hallelujah. Not only when their eye is on you and to win their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. God is a spirit. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Especially for those who yearn and hunger and thirst for righteousness. Father, in the name of Jesus and in the power of your Holy Spirit, we have preached your word about being faithful stewards. We pray for your Holy Spirit to guide all of us, Lord, to help each one of us where we work, where we minister, in the homes we are, to all our children. Father, give us the grace. Give this generation the grace to be good stewards of what you have given us. Other things you have given us, Lord. You have given us nature. You have given us every good thing, Lord. May you give us the grace to be good stewards of nature, good stewards of our bodies, good stewards of everything you have given us, so that you will reward us even the other day, even now, dear Lord our God. We pray for ourselves, we pray for the church, we pray for our children, we pray for this generation. That you may give us the grace day by day, that whatever you entrust us with, we are faithful stewards. That you will reward us, that you will increase us, that you will bless us. Take us from glory to glory, for the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, we have prayed and believed that everything will always be good for us who trust in you that everything will work out for us who love you, Jesus Christ. We do not want to offend you, but we want to be blessed through your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and believed. Amen and amen. God bless you so much. You have been watching our program, Seek God First. God bless you through the week. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.